Hi, my name is Avery. I'm one of the technical advisors here at West System. And today we're going to do a high level overview of all of the products in our 105 system. The West System 105 is an extremely versatile system, being able to be used on anything from a 50 foot yacht to a small stitch and glue drift boat to even uh, helping with home repairs. It all starts with the 105 resin. The 105 resin is the backbone of the system and everything else is based around it. It's mixed with one of our four hardeners. We recommend using the 300 mini pumps to help maintain proper ratios. Choosing your resin is easy, but there's one choice, the 105 resin. When choosing your hardener, it's a little bit more difficult. You have to choose based on three criteria, your working temperature, your cure speed, and the clarity of your final finish. There are three options for speed and temperature. Your first choice is your 205 fast hardener with a pot life of nine to 12 minutes, a working time of 60 to 70 minutes, and it can be used down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Second is our 206 slow with a pot life of 20 to 25 minutes, a working time of 90 to 110 minutes, and it cures down to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Third and finally is our 209 extra slow hardener. Uh, it has a pot life of 40 to 50 minutes, a working time of three to four hours, and it cures down to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. We have one option for clarity, our 207 special clear hardener. It has similar properties to our 206 slow hardener with a pot life of 20 to 26 minutes, a working time of 100 to 120 minutes, and it cures down to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. After the epoxies mix, there are a number of different fillers, additives, and pigments that can be used to modify the properties of the epoxy. First, we're gonna talk about the fillers. The fillers are designed to help thicken up the epoxy, and we offer two main types of fillers. Adhesive fillers, which are designed for strength and gap filling applications, and fairing fillers, which are designed to help make sanding and shaping easier. Our 403 microfibers is a general wood bonding filler. Our 404 high density filler is a good for high load applications like chain plates. Our 405 filleting blend is a wood toned filler. It's good for filleting. And our 406 colloidal silica is a general purpose adhesive filler, good for just about everything. Next is our fairing fillers, and we'll start with our 407. The 407 low density filler is a strong and easy to sand fairing filler. The 410 microlite is the lowest density filler that we offer, and it sands and feathers really easily. Next are our additives. Our additives are designed to not impact the viscosity of the epoxy while improving the mechanical properties. We have three different additives. Our 420 aluminum powder is designed to increase abrasion resistance. Our 422 barrier coat is for increased moisture resistance and reducing the formation of blisters. And our 423 graphite powder, when it's sanded, it creates a low friction surface. Finally, we have our pigments. Pigments are used to alter the color of the epoxy and are commonly used to hide the epoxy under finishes or create signal layers to help designate what coat you're on. We offer three different pigments our 501 white, our 502 black, and our 503 gray. I know we've covered lots of products today, but I hope it helps you figure out our 105 system just a little bit better. If you want more details about hardener or filler selection, we have videos about them and you should check them out.